In this video, we're going to do a little bit of Valentine decorating and we're going to do some cleaning in the craft room. It's Sharon from Sherry's Fairies and it's Tiny Tidy Tuesday and Tiny Tidy Tuesday is a collaboration and it's hosted by Sunday Dawn from the Helpful Home. There are many of us who join in this collaboration and there's always a playlist down in my comments so you can watch everybody do their tiny tidies and hopefully this will inspire you to figure out some tiny tidies to do around your house. I know it sure helps me. Okay, let's get started. Okay. This is going to be a fun little tiny tidy. First, I'm going to decorate this little shelf for Valentine's Day. I need to get stuff out of my craft room. And some of the stuff is for Valentine's Day. So, I have a few things here. Stand that little heart back there. Well, here you can see I can't make up my mind how I want to decorate the shelf. And also, I keep dropping things, <laughs> which is annoying. So I just keep fooling around, fooling around, trying to get where I want. And then, all of a sudden, my tripod decides it's not going to work either. So I had a, a good look at it, and one little clasp is broken now. So it can't stand properly. So this is what's happening in this little part of this video. Anyhow, I go off and I get a different tripod, and I start over again. That's the thing that happens sometimes. Thank you. 
Okay, for now, got those on the top. I think I'll switch this. We all know how it is. Let's put this bottle down here. Oh, but then you can't see the top of it. And with the red heart. And there. Put the bird up there. Good things, Tim. Symmetrical. I have the big chair too. There. Okay, I switched a few things around. shelf that doily actually has hearts on it and I got my cherubs and a heart and a tin heart and my puffy hearts in the basket I think that looks rather sweet so that's one little spot decorated for Valentine's Day now I'm going to go in my craft room and see if I can organize a little bit in there. Okay, this is my rolly cart that I have that I do my crafts on. I have two shelves and I'm cleaning these shelves out. I want to organize my craft room. I want to organize my craft room. So I have all the stuff I have down here. I'm going to put it in different piles because it's going to go in different places. just get stuck in here and then we don't put it where it's supposed to be oh. so we're recycling over there some more recycling scotch tapes yep I both do it a bead. I don't know if I'll use this container or not. First thing I want to do is get this stuff picked up out of here. And I need to get myself a garbage bag. I kind of have to decide what I want in here. So that I don't have to always go looking for it. Which is something I struggle with all the time. Just pick out the garbage first. So I 
I know I just want a, a bin for glue. Sticks. I always have lots of glue sticks. So, I'm just going to empty all my glue sticks in here. Get them out of their packages. And then I can see what I have and what I don't have. And that stuff can go in the garbage or recycling. Oh, it'd be nice if I had a little divider between these, but that's eh, okay. And these are different glue sticks. Extra strength, hot melt. And they're a different color, so I'll be able to know what they are. glue stick. I see all this stuff. Oh, there's my glasses cleaner. Yay! I was looking for that. <laughs> Definitely want that. Some more glue. That's some garbage. Okay, fingernail file. So garbage. Sometimes you need a little stick. Okay, another glue stick. That can go in garbage. I have to twist my leg. Have more scotch tape. Oh, here's glue sticks in here, too. Let's see what I'm doing. Let's get all this stuff out of here. We'll put the glue sticks in with the glue sticks. And put this stuff over here. Because I just want glue sticks in this big, long thing. In this container. one of the nozzles to my glue gun and I'm sure those batteries are garbage. Stick that in there too. Now I do like a container to have my okay, these snips will not need to be in there. Paintbrush is no good. These can hold my toolbox. I like those in here. My tweezers, pencil, and a stick. Oh, my scissors. I'm always losing my scissors. Oh, there's another end to my glue gun. There's another finger thing for my glue. Wire. A little stapler. I don't use that. I don't know what that is. It's always just little bits in here. Little bits here and there. Oh. Another glue stick. There's two sticks and all kinds of stuff. Clothes pins, I mean. Okay. Need to get the vacuum cleaner and vacuum those shelves out. For some reason I have a fork in here and I'm sure there's a re good reason for it. 
Okay, I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner and bring it in here. Okay. My little shelves are nice and clean. And I have this container. That's got scissors and my clips, scissors, wire twisters, wire snippers, a scraper for my table. So I don't use, well, I use the scissors all the time, so I might put them, and those, these should go in with my, so that stuff can go back there. These are my glue sticks, and I have my clips that I use to hold things together. This is a knife I use to cut my foam stuff and then I have some stuff for my glue gun. On the bottom shelf I have this comes off of here. <laughs> Honest it does. There we go. Goes in here. And then I plug it in and charge it up. So I'll have to make a spot for that so it does it properly. I'll put this glue gun here. This is my other glue gun I use. So I'm just going to put them on that shelf for now. I have different types of glue and stuff. And my scotch tape. Uh, white glue. I put some white glue in this container. Oh yeah, it's staying nice. So I don't have to have my big glue thing out here. So this is actually a wood filler. I might need that one doing those projects. This is glue. Those are just glue sticks. And I have several 
things of starch tape. And I'm going to find a bin and put stuff back here. Back here. But I'm not sure what. But it's going to be it's going to be a long process getting this craft room organized. I'm just going to do a little bit a day. And I'll probably film it all. But I think that goes in another drawer. But I think for today that's going to be enough. Um, I'm just thinking on how to organize the rest of it. Because I'd like to put stuff together and have it easy for me to access. And I got new stuff for Christmas from my son, so he drew my name this year. So I have that stuff I need to get a home for. So, like I say, it's going to be a progress. Anyhow, this is my little tiny tidy for today. Doesn't seem like I tidied much, but I got a few Valentine decorations out, so they're out of my craft room, which is good. And I organized my two shelves here and cleaned them out. And that feels good, so I'll be able to find things when I need them. And that's going to be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this tiny tidy. Don't forget to watch the rest of the ladies in the playlist, which is in my comments. And I'd like to thank Sunday Dawn again. It's always great to do a tiny tidy. So, hope you enjoyed this. Bye.